Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Star Wars Hunters. Today I'm going to be telling you the worst hunters to play in game because they are the worst and they need a little bit more tweaking. First of all, the first hero we're going to jump into before we jump into the first worst hero. If you enjoy watching this video, please, if you enjoy watching these videos, please smash a like button and let's get five likes on this video and let's get probably about 35 to 40 views on this video and we can do the next video and I'll be telling you more about that next video at the end of this video alright now let's jump into the first hero right here Zyana however you say your name she has a blaster pistol and a rallying prior ultimate which will heal um, heroes around her and she got a back to bomb which can heal and dodge roll and combat medic so this is only for medic purposes and support and her blaster pistol doesn't do very much good damage and I can see why because when you play as her they don't deal as much damage second hero is this one it's a medic I know you have to move around and play as much difficulty is a one so it might be very easy to move around but I haven't played this character but by the looks of it blaster remotes weapon ultra turret and whatnot so he's more of a stay back you know look out for heroes and all that and it's the worst I wish every blaster will in increase the, the damage I really hope they have more damage hit when you hit an enemy hero next hero we have on the list is this guy Scora she or he however you want to say it is the worst hero you see her in game he will uh, he will die faster than ever like if you're playing as Graz or the Sentinel or Vex this character dies so easily when you do your ultimate when you fire at her or him this character dies really bad so don't ever play this hero in my opinion because it dies really fast if you know how to play him if you know how to play the character play the character if you don't know how to play the character and it sucks don't play the character at all and play the character if you are good next hero and I bet you might agree I think it's this guy in my opinion I see gameplay of him he it says he's a tag in difficulty but I think if you know how to play this hero then go ahead and play it but it's the I think he's the worst but not really the worst, but just the worst. In my opinion, the very worst hero is Zion. The very worst hero in the game. And you know why? She always does healing. Her blaster doesn't have a very good damage for her blaster. So, the very worst hero in this game. And we're going to be jumping into gameplay so you can see why she is the worst hero to play. We're going to play one match and that and, and that will be the worst hero spectacle right now because she only heals her blaster sucks and the damage sucks on her blaster. So. 
So, when we jump into gameplay, alright, so she's healing, I get it, it's like Overwatch. Most healing characters suck if you know how to use them. But, we're gonna jump into gameplay, and I will show you how, why is she the worst hero. And then I'll go in a little more detail of my thoughts. Why the should they buff these characters? But why I'm playing as this worst hero, they should buff damage on blasters for healing heroes. For sure. I know in the middle of this video you're like, oh this doesn't make any sense. See, this is the worst hero. <laughs> the blaster sucks ass. Or, sorry, sucks all time. <laughs> Ignore the word, I swear, because the worst heroes are better to say. But the dodging roll isn't that bad. You can dodge, move out of cover, but you have to wait. Watch. Healing versus healing heroes. Yeah. You can play as. You can kill healing heroes. Let's see. This is the far. See? Look at that. He died so quick because he's a healer. <laughs> In my opinion, healing heroes are some, some healing heroes are the worst. See look, I'm almost dead, and there's no point of staying alive if you're a healer. I mean, if you're trying to heal yourself and you're still getting shot at, yeah, no worries. You can heal yourself, you know, I mean, healing yourself is alright, but you're not getting any damage done because you're always running away and healing yourself and you're not getting things done and you died faster with this hero so there's no point playing this hero if you're gonna die a lot as a healing hero when you're trying to save your teammate skin and your own self but mostly your own self you're trying to uh trying to save your skin. So oh we got a lot of two as her. I don't really care. I don't wanna play as her because she sucks. And you're mostly trying to uh heal yourself in the process than more than your teammates. If you go into for your teammates you're more of trying to heal other things and that character isn't really worth it and you want to get in there not staying back healing yourself and shooting from far away using a sniper and all that kind of stuff but this is the end for this video I know I'm not making any sense what I'm saying the what I'm gonna make sense of is buff healing healers in this game of their blasters so they can deal more damage so you can go out there and have some fun second of all mm, put some shields put a shield on them so they can use their shield and shoot the blaster why they're protecting themselves way more easier to help the character and the player be in the fight more and whatnot so that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for watching this video and have a good rest of your day. And if you are new to this channel and if you want more videos like this, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.